The word of the day today is sellout. Every time I say the word sellout, Jack Black skibbities his phantom tax in Ohio with L Riz plus ratio. Jack Black is in the news again, and I never thought that I would be annoyed by such a thing. But here I am, annoyed. I used to see Jack Black as infallible. I thought this guy was so funny. I thought this guy rocked so hard. But right now, over the last three months, I am nothing but annoyed with this guy. As the weeks go on, I grow weary of his tiresome antics. But before we get into those antics and that sellout behavior, welcome. My name is Dan Frampton. If it's your first time here, there's one thing you gotta know about me. I've been called the bad boy of hardcore by the king of Philadelphia, but really, I'm just a nerd in his room cooking up some traditional traditional, homemade, good old-fashioned YouTube videos. If you comment within the first three hours, I will respond. So, get saucy. But we're here to talk about Jack Black. Now me, growing up, like I said, I used to love this guy. He was in a band called the Tenacious D, okay? It was Jack Black and his best friend, Kyle Gass. And they were out there in the late 90s, early 2000s, doing this band, doing comedy, making people's ribs bleed all over the place, okay? Before they destroyed everybody with that debut solo album, though, there was an HBO series. Most people don't know about the HBO series in the year 2024, but you go back and you watch these episodes of the Tenacious D being the Tenacious D in a proto-Flight of the Concords kind of thing. The Tenacious D HBO show is a little bit more wacky than the Flight of the Concords, but my god, is it ever a good time. So between the HBO show and their debut album, I didn't think that I would ever hate this guy. Jack Black started getting roles in films like High Fidelity, pretty cool. Cool. By that point, Tenacious D and Jack Black were kind of like superstars, so Hollywood was like, hey, how about you guys do a little bit of a movie over here? And they did the Tenacious D Pick of Destiny movie, and this is the scene where Jack Black and Kyle Gass finally meet. Two best friends just being best friends, on this road the whole time as best friends, trying to find fame, trying to find money, trying to find clout trying to find the Hollywood way out there together as best friends. Nothing could stop these guys, but it was clear Jack Black was the main talent. He was the funny guy. He was the guy with the voice, the guy with the charisma, the guy with the everything. So everybody knew that Jack Black was going to be getting everything that Hollywood could offer, but Kyle Gass was happy to be along for the ride. And hey, they're actually kind of coming up together. They're a twofer. So while Jack Black is out there making all that money with his school of rock and his kung fu panda and his Jumanji out here, there was always Tenacious D, that little band that started way back in a little apartment like this, even though Jack Black was a big time, super fancy Hollywood guy, the D still rides, okay? And that made me absolutely love Jack Black. No matter how much he sold out, I was still gonna be a Jack Black fan. Even though he's in this scene with Kevin Hart and The Rock and whoever else over here in this Jumanji thing, even though he's doing these whack-ass movies over here. Normally when somebody does that, especially coming from the rock and roll world, I'm not gonna like them, okay? I'm gonna think that this is a whack, sellout kind of move, but I was on Jack Black's side the whole time because of his charisma, because of his funniness, okay? This guy had it all. The talent on Jack Black is unprecedented over here. And that would even extend to his Mario movie thing. But the Mario movie portrayal of Bowser was when I started to be like, oh no, is Jack Black becoming whack? Is Jack Black selling out far too much over here? A few years ago, Jack Black started a gaming channel on YouTube, and I was like, I am going to love this man until the end of time, okay? But it seems like the end of time is happening now. This is him dressed up as Bowser playing the song Peaches from the movie Mario Movie at the Video Game Awards, and nothing could be more whack. God damn, I hate everything about that. But here it is. Here's where Jack Black starts to really screw the pooch with me. This clip over here. A couple months ago, the D, the Tenacious D, were on tour in Australia, and it was around the same time that Donald Trump had that uh, assassination attempt happen. It was Kyle's birthday, and then this happened. <laughs> Make a wish, Canada. Don't 
everyone is Trump next time. <laughs> so that was it. Don't miss Trump next time. The crowd erupts into laughter. Everybody thought that this was a funny joke because that's all it was. It was a joke. It wasn't an attack on the country. It wasn't an attack on a former president. It was just a little har har overseas over there in Australia. But we're in political season. The presidential election is around the corner. So everybody is more heated than ever. And Kyle Gass got a little bit of backlash, a little bit of pushback for this particular clip over here, which led Jack Black to putting out this statement over here. He totally sold out his best friend. I was blindsided by what was said at the show on Sunday. I would never condone hate speech or encourage political violence in any form. It wasn't any of that, Jack Black. Way to throw your friendship of over 40 years. Let me remind you where you guys started, what you guys did together, what happened over here. Boom. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing the timeline, Jack Black? Oh, you're getting big and famous, are you? Oh, wait, you can't handle the heat of this one little joke that wasn't even televised, that was just captured by some fan and then spread online? Got it. Then he goes on to say, after much reflection, I no longer feel it is appropriate to continue the Tenacious D tour and all future creative plans are on hold. Jack Black, all future creative plans. Kyle Gass only has Tenacious D. You guys came up together and just because you got big and famous, you always had the opportunity to leave him in the back and just go off and be a famous guy. This is going to be what it takes for you to do that, for you to finally sever your ties with your best friend coming up and be like, mm. I don't know guys, I think that that birthday joke was a little too much. I am grateful to the fans for their support and understanding. I don't know if anybody really understands about any of this, but time goes on. And a couple days ago, it was Jack Black's birthday over here. And Kyle Gass, even though his best friend just threw him under the bus after like 40 years of being in this legendary rock and roll comedy band, and now he's out here embarrassing himself trying to get people's attention, trying to get Jack Black's attention, being like, oh, I'm not really hurt, guys. That wasn't a big deal. Tenacious D are just on a break. This just comes across like the biggest cope ever. So he's doing this like happy birthday song for Jack Black. Here's a taste. And there's too much traffic. So whatever, you know, but in the comments, it is split. You're finished. Make a wish, Kyle. This is the voting for Trump button over here. But then, of course, he's got some people backing him up. But I don't see Jack Black being like, oh, thank you. Or I don't see Jack Black reciprocating this in any way, shape, or form. This now feels like a less famous friend being like, my friend is famous and it's his birthday. My famous friend's birthday is today when really you guys shouldn't be estranged in any way. It shouldn't have that sort of feeling. But none of that is actually why we're here today. The biggest sellout of all time happens in this trailer over here. Are you seeing this? A Minecraft movie. The reason why Jack Black did this, the reason why Jack Black sold out his best friend is because he knew coming down the pipe in a couple months, he just shot for the Minecraft movie. And now everybody in the gaming world, everybody online is kind of ridiculing this Minecraft movie trailer for it being a Minecraft movie trailer. But this Jack Black angle, this Kyle Gass angle, this Tenacious D angle is being totally ignored by everybody online. This is what he sold out his best friend for. Let me remind you where they started all those years ago on this couch, just with big dreams, big plans. Oh, we're gonna do it one day. Oh, no, wait, I'm gonna do it one day, and you're just gonna be out there on Instagram trying to get my attention like a lost little puppy. The Minecraft movie has no reason to exist. The only reason why it's gonna exist is because it's one of the biggest video games, if not the biggest video game of all time, and you have Jack Black playing Steve. Who are you? I? I'm Steve. Do you know what Steve looks like? This is Steve. Does this not look anything like Jack Black? They're not doing anything. They just like gave him a blue shirt and we're like, all right, dude, you're Steve now. And it's like a blue V-neck sweater on top of the exact same color blue turtleneck underneath. This is Steve. 
this isn't my Steve. And the movie looks ridiculous. Like, of course, everything looks like Minecraft. Like, everything is made out of blah. And they really are going to go through with this thing. Jason Momoa is in this movie, of all people. I have absolutely no hope for this movie. And I am a Minecraft fan. I am a Jack Black fan. I want to enjoy this. This has all the elements of something that I could have enjoyed if it came out, I don't know, like seven to 10 years ago-ish. <laughs> but Minecraft is super hot right now, so they might as well make a movie to get some Hollywood money off of this property. But it is incredibly sad to me that after this sellout angle over here, selling out your best friend, and now we see, oh, Kyle Gass acting pathetic, begging for attention on Instagram, and Jack Black playing Steve in the f Minecraft movie. That's egregious levels of selling out. That's selling out your music, selling out your art, selling out your personality, selling out your best friend for the Minecraft movie. Bro, give me a f break. I was willing to look the other way for Jumanji. Kung Fu Panda, I wasn't even gonna dock marks for. But this, I'm Steve. I'm docking marks. I'm docking huge marks. This guy over here, he's obsessed with his personal image. This guy over here is obsessed with clout. This guy over here, he would do anything to stay famous now. He's not about the music. He's not about the art. He's not about the creativity anymore. This guy is just in it because he's a greedy, selfish loser of a man. But Jack Black, of anybody out there, has the power to turn it around. If this movie is actually good, if he does a nice gesture for his best friend Kyle Gass, then it'll all be watered under the bridge for me. But right now, this is all water over the bridge. Okay, I gotta settle down right now. If you want to enjoy more videos, I put up a video on my Slop channel the other day. Go watch that Slop video right now. If not, watch more videos on this channel. There's tons of them. Okay, bye for now.